Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. I have a little bit of a maniology PR vid that I'm going to throw up for y'all right now. Maniology was kind enough to reach out, ask if I would like to review some of their products. And I chose three plates and two sheets of stickers. And I'm going to try to do just maybe a couple little practice tips after I do some swatching, because if you're brand new to Stampin', if you're brand new to Maniology, their plates are phenomenal. Um, I have never had a dud plate from Maniology. Every single plate stamps flawlessly. Every stamper stamps flawlessly. You're in for a treat. If you're brand new to Maniology, treat yourself, honey, treat yourself. I do have a discount code, which I will put up here on the screen. All my links will obviously be down in the description box as well. So check out Maniology. I do I do get a lot of questions about Stampin'. Um, and honestly, there's a new Stamper born every day, okay? So don't think that one day you're just going to roll out of bed. You've never stamped before in your life, and you're just going to be flawless at it. It does take a little bit of practice, but trust me when I tell you, if you can get into the stamping game, it's going to open up your nail art world like you have no idea. It's it's amazing. All right, so let, let me go through these plates and these sticker sheets, and uh, then we'll get to playing. All right, we'll go ahead and start with the stickers. This sticker sheet is called Weather Forecast, and I got these because, well, first of all, they're adorable, but I thought these would be perfect for, for sort of like pastel -y, Pride Nails. Mm, so excited for that. So you're going to have your little rainbows, your little sunshines, your, uh, we do have little hearts here. We even have little clouds that are sort of uh, raining, we have little rain clouds. Beautiful. I love this entire color palette. I love that we also have little clouds that are raining, but they're raining different colored little raindrops. Oh, I love it. Here's a little sun peeking out from behind a cloud. So I love that. Again, this one is called Weather Forecast or Miscellaneous 125. My second sheet of stickers is called Starry Clouds. This one is Miscellaneous 130. And these are just sort of various colors of uh, clouds, uh, little half moons. Uh, we have little, uh, what are these? six-pointed and four-pointed stores. Um, yeah, they're just white. I was trying to look to see if they might possibly be glow-in-the-dark. I don't think they are. But again, we have little, we have little half moons sticking out from behind those clouds, sort of as we have little uh, sunshines peeking out behind these clouds. So I'm just, I love, love, love pastel -y colors. I'm pretty sure pastels are probably my favorite. I think I love pastels even more than I love neons, but here we go. So if you are obsessed with the sort of pastel -y type softer colors, just like I am, then check out, uh, what is this one again? Weather Forecast and Starry Clouds. Oh, I love these. These are so perfect and they're so inexpensive. And if you're looking for just quick, easy nail art. You don't want to pull out your stamping plates and your stampers and scrapers and you're making a big old mess in the whole thing. Honey, nail stickers is the way to go. Now let's look at and talk about these plates. The first plate that we have is M454. This plate is called uh, Korean Lacquerware. You guys, I love this so much. I love all three of these, actually. They're all from, I think, the same sort of stamping plate collection, or I guess maybe the same release. They all have the same uh, theme. This one, again, Korean lacquerware. I love, love, love this so much. Um, and I've seen a lot of these in the past where they're a bright cobalt blue. There are designs like this. And they're um, applied onto just a stark white, beautiful white plate or a cup or a vase even, a vase. Uh, I love that look so, so much. And I'm really sort of getting into, well, I guess I've, I mean, I've always, I've always loved those looks, but I'm going to put up a picture right here of this robe that I got. <laughs> 
that I got for my birthday, you guys. Y'all know I love the show, Our Flag Means Death. Look at this robe, you guys. I asked for this robe for my birthday. It was not inexpensive, okay? I'm not one to ask for expensive gifts. But as soon as I saw this robe on Etsy, I told all three of my family members, I want this robe for my birthday. Y'all, they got me the robe and look at it. It has such a gorgeous motif. It has the little bamboo and the little leaves and the birds. And I'm just, oh, oh I'm obsessed. This plate is M459. Uh, this one is called Japanese Ceramics. Japanese Ceramics. Look at these beautiful koi fish. Just think of all, and don't think that you have to put, you know, you have to stamp a cobalt blue image over a white base. Like you can reverse stamp these, make them any color you would like. It doesn't matter. There are no rules when it comes to the nail arts, honeys. So look at these three bands. I also love these. You could just do one strip of these or do one of these strips down just like one half of a nail. Possibilities are endless with stamping, y'all. If you ain't stamped, you need to you need to get on it. All right, you need to get with the programs, honey. And then our third plate is M460, and this plate is called Japanese Porcelain. So this one's Japanese Porcelain, this one was Japanese Ceramics, this one was Korean Lacquerware. And this one has smaller images that you can just do, you know, maybe two or three, maybe not three if you have tiny nails, but, you know, do the little butterflies. And then this little image over here, if you would like. Uh, you This would be really cute if you have sort of slender nail beds, you could cut this image in half and do, say one here, one here, uh, you know, one half, one half on neighboring nails, if that's what you would like to do. And I'm sorry, y'all, I do have, I am rocking with three lamps, three lamps these days. That's just the way it's gonna be. We have do have more uh, little koi fish over here. Loving the bamboo. Look at this big old dragon, gorgeous. Look at the stork stork <laughs> look at this crane <laughs> look at this stork look at this uh little crane up here <gasps> oh i just noticed that's a little peacock love that a little frog we got a lot of stuff going on a little kitty cat all right so let me get the uh the film off of these i'm gonna do a little bit of swatching um you guys so i have had this bare essentials box for centuries it's a big old box. I'm pretty sure maybe one of my big old like face powders or something came in this box. I keep this big ass stamper in here. And um, as much as I love my Maniology stampers, and I'm sure you'll see one, possibly two later on in this video, I'm gonna use this stamper that I've also had forever. This is much easier to swatch large images or large swaths of a plate. So this is what I'm going to do, or this is what I'm going to use when I do my swatches of the plates themselves. God, I feel like I've just been talking nonstop. All right. I got, I got Snoop Dogg and my acetizzle over here to help me out. So I've taken the film off. Uh, every time you take a film off of a brand new plate, you do want to go over that with a little bit of acetone. I use, I mean, yeah, I guess you could use alcohol as well. I prefer acetone. Let me give it a little blow there because sometimes these plates are etched so deeply that they will shred your cotton ball. And then, you know, you don't want any little fuzzies or whatever on your plate. So you're gonna want your napkin or your paper towel or what have yous. And I'm just using a cheap old Z-Joy uh, stamping polish. I do not use these polishes often enough. Let's scrapey scrape and then we shall rolly roll oh <gasps> look at it oh it's just gorgeous gore just oh my gosh these images they're not okay maybe they're not perfect but i think that's my stamper or the polish yeah they're not super crisp. I think I just, I, maybe my scrape was off. I think I just left behind a little bit or I left too much product on that image, too much polish on that image, but it's fine. You know what? We might as well get this little kitty cat up here too. Just all of the things. Whoop. 
and Rohel. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at these koi fish. But still, look how much of that polish was left behind. These are really, really cheap ass stamping polishes because I ain't trying to use up all my good stuff to just swatch. So apologies. All right, we're going to move on to swatch. M459, I've already hit it with my acetizzle. I feel like that's a lot of product. Or polish, I guess. Look at those koi fish. Oh my God, shut up. Stop it right now. Yeah, see, it's not very, it's not very clean. But the rest of these, I mean, they're flawless. Look at these little fat birds. Shut up. Oh, I love you little fat birds. I want to try to get this big ass image right here. Look. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. If this aesthetic is your jam, you need these plates. You, you need these plates. Love these so much. So let me sit on this for a sec and I'll come back and maybe we'll do a little bit of a little mini design. Oh, I forgot. I misplaced this. This also came with my little PR package. Every order that y'all get from Maniology, I think every order, uh, every order that I've placed, I have received a sticker. Look at this one. Live Stamp Love. I am living for this sort of retro color palette. Love it. I just, I love this whole thing. All right, what am I using? I'm going to use my Maniology Ice Cube Stamper. I'm going to use my favorite Maniology Scraper. And I've also pulled out, I think this was called, this was a neon collection that I recently reviewed on my channel. I think it's called Schools Out. If not, I'll correct myself up here on the screen. And I also have just three little practice tips here. I have an off-white gel polish and I have applied a matte top coat. So these, you know, I just wanted something in the background, right? Something to stamp onto. And of course my trusty acetizzle. Okay, he's here. He is my sidekick. He is helping me out. Plate M454. I'm really loving this right here. And I would like to do sort of a gradient stamp using these two colors, which is the neon coral or orange. And the neon pink so i have summer fun and slam book slam book so if you want to get more than one color on your stamp or on your image just dot your colors on the image or spread it if you'd like and then when you scrape let me zoom y'all in let me zoom y'all in and then when you scrape maybe twice maybe there. Not that. Uh, nope. Hang on. There we go. Sorry. You're fine. I'm filming. They're spawn. Say hey. 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 <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Stunning. <gasps> love. Love. All right. We're going to set that over there. We're going to move on to a different plate, a different nail tip, different colors, different image. All right. For this next tip, I'm going to use Food Fight and Class Clown. And I think I'm wanting, let me zoom y'all in just a little smidge. I think I'm feeling purple butterflies and a little bit of green bamboo. Obviously, two different scramps. I'm gonna do two different scramps. So there is my pickup. Let me just get rid of this excess that we do not need. Butamus. And I just want a little bit of bamboo action don't be afraid to layer you know you have one image on top of the other it's okay it's all right all right so that was tip number two this image right here and i'm going to do it twice in two different colors on my third tip and the two colors that i'm going to be using are blue glue 
and pencils down the blue and the yellow you know what i think i want to try something different with this one as well i think i want to do like half of it blue and half of it yellow sort of like we did on um, our first little ombre tip but i want to transpose those so i'm going to do this twice yeah we're going to scrape twice boom I'm gonna pick up once. Oh boy, there's a lot of a lot of extra stuff going on here. Hang on. Okay, we're gonna do this on tip number three right here. Hmm. And I f that up. Hmm. Oh damn it! I took too much time. I'm cleaning off my image. Fart. You know what? It's because I have a matte top coat. If there had been a sticky base coat, I would not have had an issue. But you know what? This is nail art in real life, folks. So shit happens, okay? Shit happens. Hang on. I'm going to apply one thin coat of Mini Elegies sticky base coat to this. Let it completely dry. And then... From there, I should be able to take a little bit more time, right, to, you know, get my shit together and uh, figure out what I'm going to be doing. And if I need to clean off my stamper on my lint roller, I should have a little bit more time. Let me get this on here, let it air dry, and then I should be able to fart around a little bit. All right, take two. Got my little tip over here. Two three little scrapes, three little scrapey scrapes. And now let's clean off our excess again and hope that everything sticks the way it's supposed to stick. So, okay, so far so good. There we go. Look at the beauty of Maniology's sticky base coat. Love that. Love that for me. This little side of my frame didn't transfer, but you know what? It's fine. All right, not perfect, but still beautiful. I love it. Cute. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna do a quick smudge-free top coat. And if you're unfamiliar with the old smudge-free top coat, you need to get with the program because it is so phenomenal. I have never had any one of my images smear after using the smudge or during use of the smudge free top coat. And what this is going to do is it's going to basically add a protective layer to your image. You're going to let that dry down because again, none of this stuff is uh, gel. They're not gel products going to let, let this dry down and then go back in with your glossy top coat or with your matte top coat again, if that's what you would like to do. I've been stamping for a long time and I cannot tell you how many times in the early days you spend hours, literally hours, especially in your early days of stamping, you spend hours on a design and then you go to top coat it with um, generally like your, uh, quick dry top coats cause the most headaches. Uh, they cause the most smearage. Uh, so you spend hours on a design on a mani and then you go to top coat thinking you're almost, you know, you're in the home stretch, you're almost done. And then all that work is just blah, just Bleh. Yeah, you like that? Bleh. Just all down the nail. Oh, God. And it just, you literally want to cry. You just want to sob your face off when that happens. Oh, so bless you, Miniology, for bringing us the smudge free top coat. So we're going to let this dry down. Let these dry down. And then we will come back and I will show you the absolute finished product with a, a glossy top coat on. So. B R B. Okay, I lied. So I decided to do a matte top coat instead of glossy, and I am kicking my own ass. 
because I did not let my matte top coat fully dry before I smashed it onto my little stand here and I freaking messed it up. Oh, let that be a lesson. <laughs> let your non-gel matte top coat fully dry before you go touching it and poking it and pressing on it and the whole thing. But I also decided, you know what? The stampin' plates can't have all the fun. So let's get in here and have a little bit of uh, play time with some of these little stickers on here. I just did a very simple uh, toss some stickers on here and matte top coat. This is a gel matte top coat. The rest of these, these, these other three uh, matte top coats are glisten and glow. Love me some glisten and glow glow. So don't think that you can only use these stamp plates to just do like a blue and white design. Get bright, get loud, have some fun, layer up, ombre up your uh, designs. I'm just, oh, I can't believe I screwed that up. Any boobs. That's what happens. It's okay. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you're brand new here, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel. You know, drop a heart, uh, drop a comment, drop a like, the whole deal. Again, just help support the channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. And also, if you are shopping for any of these products, please make sure that you follow the links in the description box because that lets the brand know that you came from my channel and perhaps I'm how you found that brand, you know, just let them know. Uh, don't forget, I do have a 10% off discount code to Maniology. It's BLL10, BLL10. Shop the description box. Just go shopping, go peruse, treat yourself. I'm still just very upset that I screwed, screwed up this nail. I apologize. So that's gonna do it for me. If you stuck around this long, cookies, kudos, and trophies to y'all. The keyword is stamping. Stamping. The keyword is stamping. If you stuck around to the end of this video, drop the word stampin down into the comments so that I know you stuck around. That's going to do it for me. I love y'all so, so much, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.